I wasn't screaming going yay. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm so incredibly happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Like, how are you feeling? I was driving and I saw the message on my watch and I just saw the word congratulations. And I was like, oh, it's, oh. Probably that I, it's probably that I've qualified for a loan. Like I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> probably one of those messages. Because so I just left work. I saw it say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just saw the word psych and congratulations. Yeah. And I actually screamed, no. Because I have, I was so convinced that it was over for me, that it was going to be yeah. AGA and my friends and family, I was like, you know what? I'm happy. Like, just surgery is over. Oh so then when God. it came, I was just like, no, I've prepared for this. Like, <laughs> now I'm going to study again. Yeah, I wasn't screaming going, yay. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of funny and it's kind of tragic, but I understand. It's kind of like I've made peace with what my life is going to look like now. Yes, yes. You know, I've kind of like I've redefined, I've realigned, and now, yes. now I've got to get back back into that. But have you kind of shifted now? Yes, or? definitely. And I mean, even still today, like at work, I, I'm still in disbelief. I'm just like I, I still can't believe it, and I'm still on cloud nine and in disbelief. When I got your message, I was just so delighted. I was so 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 delighted. I'm so happy for you because it was like so many of our emails and so many of my emails to you was like just keep going, like. I know, I know. Crap, I know. I know. And I was crap. just keep going. <laughs> just I, keep so, going. I think with my journey, with what is so incredible, is how ready I was to give up. And yeah. like you had to always remind me and like push me. And I was like, okay, this woman's still pushing me. Like, <laughs> like, we should leave me alone already. Which is so true about how, like, you know, don't give up until the fight's over. Like, yeah. I had that final attempt. Mm keep going it, it is about that psychological that psychological decision of it's not over over mm. but we, we we kind of do that because we want a little bit of a back door you know it's like it's exhausting and it's tiring yeah. and then I kind of want it to be my decision of like okay I'm not doing this now I'm gonna yes, do yeah. and so that's why I didn't really 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 give it my all because logically it's like well let me just give it this give it my all one last time do everything I can and if it doesn't work out it's not meant to be but somehow we really struggle to do that. We really struggle to like give everything. Uh, obviously, yeah. because, you know, one, we're just super exhausted mm. you know, on, on top of everything else. And I even felt content. like that on exam day, uh, like after the first paper, I was like, okay, it's over. Like, <laughs> let me just, let me go and write the remaining three. Like I was laughing. I was just like, I'm just going in for fun now. And again, it's just so true of yeah. be present, write what yeah. you like write yeah. anything your answers and you never know you don't you so you so don't this is what I keep and I mean I had that experience myself as well as you know and it's like I cannot keep saying to people you don't know what's going to happen you do it's, not know oh, I'm like I, I'm the mascot of that like you really <laughs> don't know there was no difference from the previous attempts okay. why would this be different I felt even worse in these answers but like you say you don't know no, you don't, sir. Uh...